All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode 33 of Death Note, which is called Scorn. I honestly don't even know what that word means. I've heard it before, but I, I don't. I should have probably looked up the definition of it. Gonna do that before I uh, watch the episode here. But uh, man, what an episode we just came off of. Honestly, I, I absolutely loved it. It came so out of nowhere where, you know, the episode before that, you were introduced, of course, to this new guy who uh, Light had kind of like handpicked to be helping him out. He was called Teru Mikami and, you know, was one of his biggest fanboys, essentially. That's how the show kind of explained it. And it's like, okay, cool. Who is this guy? And always, like, is he going to be playing a, a major role? He was this asset that Light picked. And then here we just start off the episode and immediately get like a full 10 minute backstory to his character that is absolutely fascinating, right? Delving into, uh, you know, I, I don't want to repeat myself too much because I talked about it in the review already, but like the whole situation where all this time he had been, you know, he'd been kind of defending people back in school from bullies and stuff like that. His mom told him not to be involving himself with that kind of stuff. And all these bullies, along with his mom, just randomly get killed in a car crash. And he sees that, like, um, this view that he already had, this very black and white view of the world, was essentially, uh, how should I put that? Like, it was divine retribution that came in to say that god was basically agreeing with his view and stuff right and it's like he becomes entirely religious then starts seeing and and hearing i guess about kira on the news and all these killings happening tries reaching out to him and actually gets a handshake gets the death note handed to him and asked by kira to be helping him out you can totally understand how this guy completely grew to become this um yeah, this downright, like, religious follower of Kira and stuff, right? Kind of in the same vein, of course, that we saw, and I hadn't even realized that, but, like, this is a, a similar story to what had happened to Misa, who had also become sort of infatuated with um, Kira because of, uh, you know, kind of similar circumstances. Of course, her story was something differently, but, yeah, I just, uh, I thought it was great. And then the second half kind of more delved into, like, Light directly starting to communicate with um, with Teru about him being uh, Kira and giving him sort of new commands. Uh, a whole new asset being added to that team who is called Kiyomi uh, Takada. And she is, I mean, she's the same woman who we already saw Light having sort of like, you know, romantic conversations with um, uh, back in his uh, university or whatever, right? Uh, I mean, that's... that's that, I don't know when that was. That must have been like episode 8, 9, maybe somewhere along those lines. Maybe even before that, in all fairness. Uh, she is part of the team now, you know, and he openly admitted to her that, like, he, um, he is Kira and she's going to be the new spokesperson, kind of like that TV crew member. So Light is once again expanding on his uh, crew. At the same time, he managed to get the suspicion really off of him with the, the Japanese police force, um, uh, by making clear to them that he was talking to Kira on the line, who was Teru, right? And uh, yeah, after that, you know, managed to get them to go away so he could actually give these guys direct instructions on what to do next. It's all, I don't know, you know, I, I talked about it in the review, but I'm kind of waiting for it to all come crashing down on him. If that happens, I don't even know if that's something that I should be expecting anymore because we just don't have that much longer left. But um Oh no, I'm fascinated to see where it's going to go, guys. So we're going to dive into this episode. Of course, do let me quickly remind you that if you enjoy my reactions here to Death Note, you can finish the entire show with me already. We will have all episode reactions up over on Patreon, which is linked on top of the description, all the way up until 37. So you can check it out right now. Finish the entire journey uh, with me. Over there, there will also be full-length reactions if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. So go and check it out. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. And then with that being said, let's dive into episode 33 of Death Note. Okay, back to Nier, right? Oh, okay, little recap. Yeah, because I'm still waiting for Nier to come back into the picture. We didn't see him last episode. And same with, you know, Mello, who we did see, but we keep getting these teasers off. Is he building the Eiffel Tower? Yes. 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 
What, he needs somebody to guide him? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Here, hold my toy. She picking her modeling career back up, or? Oh, shit. Yeah. They're all acting in the open, I notice right now. I mean, that's literally what I was going to say. He can use Takada to get to light. <laughs> He's just telling him I'm coming for you, bitch. <laughs> oh, they're really setting the stage for a confrontation here, man. Well, it's more than one, really. Again, where does Mello come into all of this? Yeah, there. God damn, man, the way he's laying it all out, so smart. That's gonna say, that's a little uh, straightforward. <laughs> L wouldn't be able to rest, wow. Takada san, Mainichi Sugoi on the fan letter got curt the cotoma de news in the net. Oto dake de ega night denoa, Sabishi sne. Fan letter to Yedo, Tasho a meo toast beckida to Mondo. What's he writing to her then? Coco car instructions. That's why they couldn't see the video. そもそも君は大便者だけで終わるべき人じゃない。君の方からは平に呼びかけてみないか。キラとしての裁きを君にしてもらいたい。大丈夫だよ。君なら。Punish who though?うまくやれる。The SPK or I mean, who else? Damn, dude. <laughs> Passing it through, I guess. Alright, that's what she wrote. What the fuck? Why a fake one though? Wait, I... God, this is... <laughs> it's getting too confusing, man. Did the book not have many pages left anymore or what? Because he just ripped them off and there was nothing, like, there was nothing left. Really? 
Right. That was the woman who we saw, right? Yeah, I mean, how would they ever find Teru? Oh my god, what the hell is this? No, how? Ah, okay, this was like together on that program. <laughs> Dude, this intu intuition, man. Can I get it as well? Sure does, doesn't it? <laughs> Am I not a big act? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Damn, so she knows about it? Oh, that's the that's the hell. Yeah. Hal Littner. Dude, this scene has me so confused. <laughs> yeah, about that. You're putting them in a Christmas tree? <laughs> Damn, they got someone actively trailing him, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I do feel so bad for Misa now, man. I do actually wanna like what Takada wants with Misa now. Like, did Light give her any instructions? Oh, uh, like, is this who Light instructed her to kill? Because that definitely, like, that definitely could be. Like, I wasn't even sure. Who he was talking about when he told her, you know, early on in the episode. Oh, this can be good, dude. I, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling very... <sighs> I'm dreading it. <laughs> Surely this is not just making her even more jealous than she already was. Huh. <laughs> Not yet. Uh. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, well, she got the pages though, doesn't she? I bet they arrived by now. Yeah. She really doesn't remember anything. Oh, shit. Oh no, what are we what are we about to see? Does she just realize that she's gonna be used? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no, what is that smile on her face? Dude, this show is leaving me in such anticipation. Oh no, a Christmas tree. She's cluing near in. この子とから言えるのは、ヤガミライトは持てる。高田、天音はヤガミライトの虜。いや、真面目に考えてくれ。そう簡単には裏切らない。やめてください。なんだ。Oh no, he's witnessing something again. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Oh, but this was this was This is the fake notebook or yeah, I would assume, right? Oh shit. Oh, he's trying to give them the fake notebook then. Or something, right? Like, that's where it's going. I see. Kind of. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go to the review. Okay, I can only imagine that part of the plan there was at the very end. That, of course, Light realized that this uh, Teru guy would uh, eventually get followed by Nia. And so now the plan that he set up, where he's using Takada, of course, to actually commit the killings, where he had um, Teru sent a couple of pages to her, that like, because we saw, we saw Teru actually like take out his phone at first, right? And he took a picture and uh, I presume sent that then to uh, Takada uh, along with the, the, well, yeah, I mean, does he, does he, well, I think Teru is supposed to have the eyes, so Teru then also can see the name of the you know the 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 guy that was uh, harassing this girl whatever right so he just sent over a photo and, and name of the guy and then she actually performed the um uh the killing H however of course you know Nair is going to think along with the guy that he had trailing uh trailing you know Teru that that Teru just actually uh committed this killing and so that he has the notebook but it's a fake notebook that's of course again this is the whole thing that we heard light talk about uh, very early on in the episode and I had that I had such a hard time figuring out what exactly he was planning here and stuff so I would only assume that the plan is then eventually to get um oh well I, I don't know what the plan is because surely again as soon as Nier gets this notebook he's gonna uh, find out that it's fake the moment he tries to perform his first killing of course but maybe it's like a you know like a um well, it's just a precautionary resort or whatever, right? Or like, you know, when he gets the... Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> honestly, it's it's so much to go through. But uh, when he should get the notebook and he uh, assumably goes through some type of process of like figuring out what he wants to do with it and stuff, right? I mean, yeah, again, Nier is just going to think that like, okay, as long as they focus on Teru, that's where they uh, will be able to focus on the, the killings and stuff happening. But it's not true. It's actually Takadak performing them and stuff right so 
they're gonna ultimately end up with this fake notebook and not realize it and not realize that the killings will just be able to continue and that light still has um someone who can who who we can have the killing uh you know do it for him so yeah god this episode in general i will say it had me very confused i don't truly understand what that whole conversation was about between misa and uh takada you know i mean even near like the only conclusion that he ultimately drew from it was like okay these two women both are obsessed with light and will do anything for him which was absolutely true and of course it's interesting because um, you see with Misa, and you know this is what I was kind of still wondering about, but like Misa has completely lost all memories of the Death Note, and she just thinks that Light is still going after Kira and stuff, right? And was even threatening Takada with it. Um, so yeah, like she, even her, just finding out that Light was, um, you know, kind of having his uh, <laughs> or like working together with this woman now, or whatever, right? Like. It was just making her jealous, but there's nothing she can do. Misa is not really a threat anymore to Light. That's the eerie part about it. So it can't... I speculated about like, oh, is him just neglecting Misa? Is that going to bite him back? Is Misa going to be able to do something? No, she won't. She she literally let go of the Death Note and like, she's just a regular girl now like she always was, right? Like there's nothing she can do anymore. She has no power left. So, and even then, like she's still obsessed with light and willing to do everything you know for him and stuff so that's that's clearly not where it's going again it's just one of those things that i kind of was speculating about that i realized now was utterly uh pointless you know so yeah oh no this episode just kind of had me um i was in my head the whole time trying to figure out what it all meant and i still quite don't in all fairness near basically announced of course to light like <laughs> openly that he was coming after him and stuff so that's interesting once again, didn't get really any look at uh, at Mello. So, you know, where is he going to be coming back in? I'm still kind of left in almost the exact same uh, place that I was before this episode, in all fairness. So, very curious to see where it all goes. Guys, for now, I hope you enjoyed my reaction here to episode 33 of Death Note. I can't believe we will only have four episodes to go. Of course, if you're impatient and you want to check those out right now, you actually can because the remaining four episodes will already be up over my Patreon, which is linked on top of the description. Over there, you can binge all my reactions up until episode 37, which is the final one, along with, of course, full-length reactions if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. So go and check it out. And then for now, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.